Okay, I've got my post holes drilled and I've got my fencing trailer hooked up to my WD-45. Getting ready to go put some new fence corners in that need to be replaced. Rule number one, as far as fencing, you'll never have a good tight fence if you don't have good corners. So I've got some corners that need replaced. My fencing trailer is just a, an old pickup truck trailer that I whipped up about 40 some years ago. I guess the only real uh, real factor that makes it a fencing trailer is my fancy barbed wire unroller. This is kind of handy if I need to unroll wire, I just back up to a fence, grab an end and take off with it. So I guess uh, we've got a nice sunny day, so we'll head up on the hill and build some fence corners. I've got my posts in. Now as far as post braces, there are several ways you can do that. I mainly just use the materials I have at hand. In the past I've used 2x4s across the top of them and that's worked fine. Treated 2x4s of course. This afternoon the other two corners that I'm going to build are down in the woods and I've got a couple of pieces of old well pipe I'm going to use for that. But of course when you're building corners here by the road you want to use your fancy store-bought braces to impress the neighbors. I've got my smooth brace wire on the posts. Now I just need to tighten that up. Okay, I've got my corner done. Now I'm not going to attach the wire to it and tighten it up today because I don't have to. The cows won't be out here for at least another three weeks so I have the luxury of letting this settle a little bit and uh, re-tamping it before I put tension on it. I am going to run a new top wire from here up to the gate as long as I'm here with a trailer today. The top wire was starting to get a little rusty and had already been spli spliced three times so I'm just going to run a new wire. Just just as an aside, uh, here in Wisconsin vehicles aren't the only thing that road salt kills. If you've got a fence next to a road, your barbed wire will only last about half as long as it does anywhere else. And that's just the nature of the beast. If there's one piece of advice I could give someone when building fence, that would be make sure to do tight wraps there. I see a lot of people wrapping barbed wire and making their wrap kind of casual around here. You want to make your wraps as tight as possible in order to in order for them to, to hold. Get them as close to each other as you can without getting on top of each other. That's when they'll hold.
there like that that one won't slip I've got the post set for my second corner here and the fence around this set of fields I built about probably 30 or 35 years ago and when I did that I used cedar posts for my corners and uh, well I guess cedar posts last about 30 years apparently but uh, anyway I've replaced most of the cedar corners around this field over the past few years but anyway now I need to do my braces and uh, these old corners I when I built these I used these pressure treated 2x4s for braces and they're actually still still quite solid but I'm going to use a couple of pieces of well pipe because I happen to have some around. I will just uh, drive in a spike on each side of the, uh, on each post, slip it over there, and then put my brace wire on it, then tighten it up, and that will do the trick. All right, we've got this corner done. Now the third corner I need to put in today is down at the end of this run of fence, about oh, a couple of hundred yards down the hill. So let's head down there and get that one built. I've got my third corner finished. That brace right there, turns out the piece of well pipe I had wasn't quite long enough. So I just reused the pressure treated 2x4 from the old corner. It's still sound. It'll be just fine. I've got another fencing project to do back here in another couple of days. This land back in here, and this is the very southwest corner of my farm, there's about five and a half acres of tillable land back in here that for the last probably 10 or 15 years, I have just been letting the beef cows pasture it. But of course I've cut back on my beef herd now and they definitely do not need this pasture. So I think I'm going to start farming it, uh, start tilling it again, start using it for, uh, for hay and corn. Now this, this fence line, that goes back in through there. Hopefully you can see the steel fence posts back through there. The fence line that goes back through there and goes to the, goes down that way to the property line around this piece of land. Since I've just had the cows in it and there's a, there's a gate right here that I just kept shut and, the, and there's a fence line here that goes back to the property line. The cows have been having, uh, just pasturing that. This fence line, since I've had the cows in here, I have not bothered to maintain. I built it about the same time I built the rest of this fence, so the wire is good, the posts are good. It just needs a, needs a lot of maintenance, but down in the, uh, in the creek bottom, there is about 100 yards of it that needs to be rebuilt. So I'm going to go down there, I guess as long as the nice weather holds out, if I have a good day, I might, well, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest, I'll say that 30-year-old uh, me probably could have done it in a day. Contemporary me is probably going to take two days. But anyway, I'll make another video about that. Uh, this is probably long enough. So until then, have a good day.